Hello, welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 64 of Ocean Block. <laughs> and today we're going to dive back in to some more Batania. And we're going to see how far we can get. So let's pop over there, see what's up. Uh, I did gather all the ingredients needed for uh, all our recipes. Oops, I need that there. Um, so this is earth, air, water, fire, and mana, respectively. And if we make those five runes, we'll finish off five different quests and we'll be able to complete the agglomeration plate which is one more step towards making our own terra steel. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get one of these guys started. Um, let's open up these spots. And actually I'll need that guy too. So, um, we needed mana powder, and I made the mana powder by, um, you can do uh, several different things. You can use redstone, glowstone, sugar, um, but what I had in abundance the most is lapis, so I turned it into dye, because uh, you can use all the dyes. Um, to make mana powder. So you could, I think you could even use um, the Britannia dye, or is it Britannia dye or only the Minecraft dye? It looks like just the Minecraft dye, uh, but I have tons of lapis, so that worked out just fine. Uh, 100,000 lapis. <laughs> So I turned a stack into mana powder. It didn't take hardly any mana at all to do that. So uh, each one of them, besides the mana, the rune of mana, uh, took one single mana powder and one mana steel ingot, and then three different ingredients and a living rock at the end. So let's put this guy on here. Oh yeah, this should go pretty quickly for uh, these lower end ones, because um, they're the lower end ones. Uh, it is taken quite a bit still. Uh, it's limited by, I guess, how much mana the um, mana spreader can unload at a time. Oh, and we got two. Uh, I don't know that, but there's our rune. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, that worked out perfect. So we can pop all those on there. Wait for a second. Finish it off. Scooch you guys over. Actually, no. That's the way I wanted it. Sweet. Um, it didn't take very long to gather up all the ingredients and uh, to get all the stuff. So I went exploring in the nether, <laughs> uh, trying to trying to get that last trinket uh, for the fourth piece of the heart. And man, I just doesn't want to show its little face. I got lucky and got it pretty easily last time. But it is not wanting to be found. I found so many trinkets and all of them I already own. So, I don't know what to do about that. I guess I'll keep trying. I've gone... I've gone in... Um, north, south, and east. 
So I need to go west, or, or did I go west already? And I need to go east. One of those. What? There we go. Rune of water. Um, I got quite a bit of nether rack uh, when I was looking for that trinket in the nether, so I just brought, I got I had like half a stack, I brought it back and turned it into bricks for uh, Botania, and sometimes I need um, a nether brick and recipes and whatnot, so it's good to have it laying around. I wish that um, I had. Do they have a sleeping bag? I remember that being a thing in a mod. A pillow of secrets. Oh, that would be awesome. But I don't have that. A pillow of secrets. It's epic rarity. Oh. That one would be really nice to have. Awesome! Almost there. This one, they're probably all gonna stack up. That's fine too. Uh, this one might take a bit longer. I think it's, it's not the same as uh, the first four, but it is one of the basic ones. Oh, lag spike. I'm still getting the lag spikes uh, every now and then. I'm scared every time <laughs> I get one because that's what I thought uh, was happening when uh, I lost my game. It was just seemed like a normal lag spike, but it froze and did not come back. Tanya is such a, just a beautiful mod. Like, everything is so uh, visually appealing about it to me. To me. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and we'll meet one of you. We're going to use half of that and then that. I should have should have bookmarked the plate. Oh, Kitty, what are you doing? And there we go, the terrestrial agglomeration plate. There we go. And then um, I think this is another quest. Uh, we can make it now. Uh, it's just a matter of time, but I don't think we have enough mana just yet to make our own. Maybe if I combined all the pools. I think it takes half a pool of mana. Uh, see, that didn't hardly use any mana for those. So let's see what we got. Let's see what we got for the quest rewards. Um, there's the agglomeration plate. Rose gold seats. Hey, we didn't have those. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Another seed. Quartz enriched iron. Already have it, but that's kind of cool. Oh, that makes two of those. Oh, that is, um, that's, that's pink slime. It's a pain to make pink slime uh, into the actual little ball. Or you have dye seeds and a 
Ernie and the helmet. Oh, hi, kitty. Bye, kitty. Oh, so cool. Uh, we have Terra Steel. That means we can also open the portal to, to Alfheim. This is the decision. Uh, we can take our four Terra Steel, turn them into a seed, and then not have to worry about making Terra Steel ever again. Or I could use one make the portal to Alfheim and then I'd have to make another Terra Steel later to get the seeds if we want. But it's only one Terra Steel that's needed for this portal. If I remember correctly, if it's still the same. Which I don't know. This is 116, so um, they they may have changed something. I don't know. Uh, Elven Gateway Core takes three nuggets. You need one of those. Uh, then you need three glimmering living wood. Okay, that doesn't take any of it. Um, and eight living wood. Don't you have to... You have to have two of the pedestal? Um, they're not pedestals, it's something else. Uh, oh, I need to go sort this stuff out. Speaking of which, we need to turn in the seed quest that we got. Oh, that was a tier four. A diamond jetpack. <laughs> I don't need it anymore, guys. All right, um, let's bop down there, clear out our inventory real quick. Um, you can go in there, you can go in there, you can go in there, you can go in there. You're special though, I want to keep you. Um, seeds. And, yeah, let's put that guy over there. I think I threw one in the system. Yeah, let's keep them together. Oh, oh. I had another one in there. Oh, I got three of those. I need to do something about that. All right, let's bob back over there to Batania. Boop. What do we have next? Um, uh, we were talking about the portal to Alfheim. Don't, I don't even have the book. Do I have a Mexico Botanic? I don't think I do. Uh, you have to throw that into... That's the one you get through the portal. Um, make a book. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the paper. Book and book. There, that's perfect. We've got tons of oak saplings. I thought it would use something like my, my birch that I only have six of. Uh, also, I've been uh, putting in some of these 
crafting components and advanced components uh, catalyst from the extended crafting mod. Uh, getting ready to make that uh, crafting table. <laughs> uh, so I believe I got everything, all the bits besides the actual crafting tables. Uh, which I should only need to make twice, so... I don't know. It, it might be nice to just be able to go boom and hit one button and make the craft, but... Uh, that's so many clicks I have to make just for that one. <laughs> um, let's get back to the portal to Alpine. Um, let's look at our... Okay, we have no Terra Steel. Okay. Also, oh, I forgot. I was looking at the... Um, the Singularity for... Um, oh, what is that stuff called? It starts with a P. Fido Grove, Fido Grove. Uh, and we have all the stuff for this. So I was like, why not just teach it to make it? Uh, so, no, I want the recipe. Uh, it's just two appetite, a niter, and sand. Um, so I taught it to make that. It, take, it makes eight. So, get tons of it when, when we do it. So I had it make uh, one and a half K, which will probably go turn that into a singularity, uh, hopefully, uh, in this episode. Um, if I can keep myself from becoming distracted, let's go ahead and make, um, make the portal to Alpine. Because... It's fun. <laughs> Britannia is a fun mod. We need all these nuggets. We got our Lexica Britannia to throw in there um, to get the upgrade. Oh, I love this book, but I have like read it all. Um, oh, look, it's got to unlock progress. So it basically teaches you how to play, you know, what what all is available in the mod. And I've played with it before, so I'm already kind of familiar with most of the things, except for some of the later game stuff that I don't get to all the time because I start my worlds over so much. <laughs> uh, but except for this one, this is the first world I've played consistently in a long time. Uh, so yeah, um, we might need to go to the end and get the end air. I don't know how much of that we actually need, but it's a resource we could gather <laughs> pretty easily because uh, we get um, models in the mob farm for free. So we got 8,000 bottles, so getting bottles isn't an issue. I just take a stack, go to the end, get some in there. I don't know what it's used for. Uh, I think it's just you right click in there. Oh, it's just on the page. Right clicking with an empty glass bottle while in the end will capture some of that air which can then later be tossed like a splash potion turning nearby stone at the landing point into end stone. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's toxic to nether mobs such as the gas. 
cool. <laughs> it's pepper spray. <laughs> it's pepper spray too. So that's cool. Uh, it can turn in stone into endstone, but I wonder how much it turns into it. That could be an interesting way to get endstone. Cool. That is pretty cool. Um, let's, is there no, let's look at and ender air. There it is. What is that used in? Oh, look at that. It's used in a star collar, making resolute ivy. Oh, that looks cool. I wonder if I could grow that. I bet that would look awesome on my island over here. You can make red string. That's some from some of the more advanced Botania stuff. A corporea spark. Ah, I haven't ever actually made the corporea network with Botania. So that might be kind of cool for life aggregator. Oh, that is a Flugel Tiara. That is uh, something that you can make that will give you creative flight. Um, we actually have all of this except for the Elementium. Because <laughs> uh, I uh, used a potion in the end and got an Ender Air bottle and got the four guy spirits. But if I didn't already have the Draconic conic chest plate with creative flight that would be something we could do uh, right now a black hole talisman I remember uh, back in the day having the black hole band and uh, the alchemical bag you could put the black hole band in the alchemical bag and that would suck items into the alchemical bag, which was pretty awesome. Uh, I thought, now they just have backpacks that do that automatically. I think, you know, what's the fun in that? <laughs> You're just gonna give it to us. Thundercaller. That sounds pretty cool. Um, so yeah. I was gonna go get some end uh, air, but I can do that in between episodes. Let's go ahead and make the portal. Because then we can make the elementium uh, ourselves. Look at that. 106 awakened conium seeds. Oh, there's 224 seeds in there. I do it. I empty those seeds all the time. <laughs> oh. Okay, so. We're gonna need, I think, some of our living wood. What? Oh, that's for the portal. Let's go ahead and clear this out and look at our quest and go ahead and mark these up. That's the Elven Gateway Core and the Glimmering Living Wood. Okay. Um, we already have that. Let's get our Elven Gateway Core. Boop. Pylons! 
That's what they are. They're not, uh, they're not pedestals, they're pylons. Uh, oh, I need the glowstone from the system. Now where would I put this? It would be perfect to put it right back there, but there's already something there. And I need the, the, the pylons. The nature of pylons. First I need a mana pylon. Oh, I need two diamonds and four of those. Oh, the gold. And then, oh, I need two iron enders. So cool. They updated those. Oh, yeah, these look different. That looks pretty awesome. Uh, we'll also need manacles for those. So I'm going to put in the corners to help. There we go. Um, oh, it didn't take any mana to do that. That's why it didn't stay open, because it didn't have any mana. Dude, that is too close. Um, let's look in the book, because I believe... Um, supposed to set. Well, I think let's let's read it for a second because at least two mana pools with nature pylons directly above them would be needed within 11 by 11 by 11 area around the core. 
The initial activation of the portal we believe would cost a huge amount of mana from said pools and would be performed by right clicking the core with a wand of the forest. Huge amount of mana. The portal is designed to draw mana from all pools with pylons equally. If any pool ran out, any connection a portal might have would close. Even with all these preparations, any link the portal could establish would be too weak to transfer living beings. So on Alpham vacations off or vacations off the table no matter what. But items might just make it through. Though mana from the surrounding mana pools would be needed for items to survive a return trip. All knowledge about Alfheim in this lexicon is at this point limited to what you find in this entry. It seems that elven knowledge has been almost totally lost. Perhaps if the elves could have a look at this book, they could provide them insight. Okay, so it doesn't have to be anywhere specific. Okay, well that's good. Um, no! <laughs> That's not where I pointed. What you made me do. Boop. Oh, those, those are cool. When they spin around. That is nice. Uh, so, um, I think, how are we supposed to get the mana up? Oh, okay, my core goes there. Beep. We have to have tons of mana to open it up. So, but I want to make the Terra Steel now. <laughs> oh. um, which, if I put this mana in my ring, we would have enough. Um, if I put it into one pool. So, dude. No. Oh, we need spark. A spark to transfer mana over there. I believe I should have everything for a basic spark. Yeah, I'll need some petals. We need two of them at least. One for that. Live drive. So we put one on here and then put one on here um, and now we can take our green and uh, suck everything out of here there we go we're not using that one for anything and it can uh, I think it can make a terra steel I guess I should look. I'll sleep a little bit in there. Yeah, there it goes. If it's only half a pool of mana for a Terra Steel, well, we're good. We got it. Uh, but if it's a whole mana pool, I don't know that it says how much exactly it takes. Is that mystical items or Here. 
first armor. There we go. Terra Steel is a complex and useful magical alloy infused with ridiculous amounts of mana. <laughs> Synthesizing it proves to be no small task. For starters, its creation requires a terrestrial agglomeration plate placed over a checkerboard pattern of lapis lazuli blocks and living rock or shimmer rock. This block then needs to be provided with mana, with sparks being the most efficient mode of transfer. After a plate is set up and ready to receive mana, tossing one mana steel ingot, mana diamond, and mana pearl each upon the plate will begin the infusion. Picking up any of the items will halt the infusion, causing severe mana loss. All mana transferred to the plate is lost. The infusion uses about half a mana pool's worth of mana to create a single piece of terra steel. Multiple sparks passing at mana will accelerate the process. Cool, so I was, I remembered correctly. So all we gotta do is throw our stuff on here. No? Can you right click? Yes. Boop. And a boop. Oh, look at that. Our first homemade terra steel. <laughs> Nether star floating around in there. Cool. Never noticed that before. So we got our we made a terra steel so we can we could make uh, the nuggets um, or the the seed for the terra steel so that we can have our terra steel for uh, Singularity. Um, so I can probably do that off camera and be easy peasy. Portal to Alpine. Um, but yeah, I'll need to prepare uh, for this because we'll want to have like maybe a couple stacks of mana steel. Um, to get elementium, um, a couple stacks of mana glass, uh, or no, yeah, you throw mana glass in there and you get the different, the different Elfheim glass, um, and wood, you get the, um, Alpine version of the living wood so yeah I gotta gather up some stuff to throw through the portal to make it worth opening I don't want to just open it and then throw the book in because <laughs> that would be an expensive book um, but I don't think it takes as much to keep it open as it does to open it um, so I don't know on how would you get would I just take that off and put a spark there or something I don't know I could just manually move it over with my ring or I could make a mana tablet, but I already have the ring. Um, yeah. So let's <laughs> let's sort of pause on this because um, I'll need to build up quite a bit of mana to open the portal, uh, build up materials to send through the portal. 
Because, I mean, I have a little bit of mana steel, but you only get uh, one elementium per two mana steel, so I gotta have a good amount of mana steel. Um, you know what the, the pixie does too, so you need mana diamonds, you also need mana pearls to send through there. <laughs> uh, lots of stuff. So, yeah. Let's go make a singularity with the the Vital Grove. So, let's look. Um, Vital Grove. Uh, I don't think the detector is uh, necessary, so for, it's going in so fast that I can sit there and watch it and then turn it back off. So, um, I'm just going to leave it empty in case I change my mind later and put it on ignore. And then we can just throw it in there. And then when it gets to 1500, I can take it out real quick because it takes it a while to craft. Awesome. Take that out. Because <laughs> it, it used up all of it. There. Oh, yeah, while we're over here, let's go ahead. Put the helmet away. Oh, I'm in the wrong section. There we go. I cleared up a little bit of room out of there. Um, so I was getting close to 500. Uh, taking all the Batania stuff out. So that's cool. I want to redo the wiring in the, dr the Draconic Evolution compact machine and have the nitro wire in there and hook it up to these two reactors and I also want to get a, a bank in here on channel 3 because that's what these two are going to be set for is to put it on channel 3 and uh, then that will be for the Draconic Evolution because we're going to have to have 30 of the injectors. <laughs> 30 of them. Um, and I should be able to put uh, like 8 on one side, 8 on another, and then 7 on another 2, and that's 30. Uh, so it should be able to see all of them, no problem. Um, so I'll probably start in on uh, getting the nitro cable in here and um, a nitro ender gate as well uh, for all of the, the power needs. Uh, I probably, I could probably just put ender gates on each one because each ender gate is like basically a cable uh, so it takes four cables to make four ender gates so it's a little bit more than you know a cable but I don't know it depends I guess we'll have to see how much power it needs when there's 30 injectors on there. Uh, it's a lot, but let's go check our singularity now. I bet it's done. Yes, I don't grow singularity. I still, I haven't done the oak one because 
uh, I did the basic crates first and so it used up all my oak so I don't have 1500 oak to uh, turn into a singularity anymore so I only have like 500 maybe I need to tell it to leave 1500 in there or 2000 oak in there so I could create a singularity board. Oh, speaking of, did it ever start making the capacitators? It never did. got rubber. I don't know. I don't know what's the hold up on it. I keep looking uh, at the requester. It doesn't give me an error message or anything. I guess I could request 1500 capacitators and see if it tells me what I need, but I can't, I can't pick the, the potatoes up because when I do, it will start filling them with uh, energy. And you can only pick them up one at a time. Perplexing. And it's all in there for 1500. It works for the Vital Grow. See, I have all the stuff. stuff to make it so it's not like it's not available it's just hung up somewhere and I don't know I don't know what it's hung up on to fix it now why did that not stack that are different. I have no idea. I don't know what it's doing. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to try and figure that out, I guess. Um, That is weird. I've got the Vital Grow Singularity. I worked on some more Britannia. Oh, another spirited battery. Um, you know, I want to turn that into a nitro one if I can. What is it missing? Quick to make those. Oh, I made I made one of those instead of using the one I had. It made it. That's weird. I thought it would have. I should have put it in there. So now. Got a nitro battery. 
I want to use that, but at the same time, I want to put it, I want to put it in here. Ha! Ah, there we go. So now, when I turn these on, uh, let's go ahead and see. can have one for myself. That's going to take a while to fill up 140 million. <laughs> and we can put this one in here. storage now. Shouldn't run out anytime soon. <laughs> and that'll be great. I want to upgrade this too so it's going faster. I have so many things I want to do. <laughs> um, but oh, we got the Singularity. We got um, Britannia done. I think we'll go ahead and call it here. Working on our botany stuff. I'll work on more on building up more mana in between episodes and um, gathering up those materials to throw through the portal. Um, so uh, if you like this episode, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.